Hi everyone, my name is Monique and I am so excited to show you today a really cute cupcake decorating project. We're going to be making these fondant beaver cupcake toppers. They're so cute. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, fondant, I've never worked with fondant before, impossible, skip. But wait, before you go, let me truthfully tell you that this was my first time ever working with fondant. First time, this is it. I even Instagrammed it because look how cute they turned out. And I'm telling you that yours are gonna turn out just as cute when you follow these easy steps. So are you ready? Let's decorate. We'll start by getting our fondant ready. First, roll out your fondant mat. Now the great thing about this mat is that it's already prepped for you to use. You just roll it out, roll your fondant on it, cut out your pieces, and that's it. If you don't have one of these mats, you can certainly use either your kitchen table or your countertop, really any smooth, clean surface. And you can sprinkle some powdered sugar on it or some vegetable shortening so that it doesn't stick to the countertop. So we're going to be using different colors for the beaver, but we're going to start out with a dark brown color. This is going to be for his head and for his ears. So when you first take it out of the package, it's already pretty soft to begin with, but you're still going to want to knead it a little bit. So think of it like a stress ball and just give it a couple of squeezes. But who could be stressed when we're decorating? I mean, look at this cute little guy we're gonna be making. No stress, guys. Next, we're going to roll out our fondant using our fondant roller. Use the pink guide rings on the fondant roller because it's already measured out to a specific height. So all you have to do is roll out the fondant and it's gonna turn out perfectly smooth and the perfect thickness to put on top of your cupcake. So you're going to want to roll out the fondant wide enough so that you have enough space to cut out the head and two ears. We'll start by cutting his head using the circle cookie cutter. And then for his ears, you're gonna use the narrow end of tip 1A. There's one, and two. Now, from your leaf double cutout set, we're going to use C. We're going to use the smooth side. There's a rippled side and the smooth side, but just make sure to use the smooth side. So now we're going to cut one and the other. From your oval cutout set, we're going to use cutout F, and we're going to use the smooth side just like we did with the whiskers because it also has a rippled edge, but make sure you use the smooth edge for his nose. Oh, sometimes they stick right to your cutout, but that's fine because you could just pop them right out. For his eyes, we're gonna use tip 1A again, the narrow side, and just set these guys aside with the others. Now this one's a little bit different because we don't have an exact cutout to cut out his teeth, so they're gonna have a little character to them because you're gonna cut them out yourself just using a fondant knife. Now you know what a beaver's teeth look like. They're a little wider at the top and narrower down at the edge. So just cut that shape out just how you would imagine those teeth to look like. So we're also gonna use the white to just roll out his little pupils for his eyes. So you can just take two little pieces from your white fondant and just roll. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, we're going to assemble our beaver. We're going to need a glass of water and a decorating brush to attach all the pieces together. We'll start out with his teeth. So we have to make it look more like teeth. So use your toothpick to make just a line down the middle to make it look like it's two separate teeth or it's your buck teeth. Next, we're going to work on the whiskers. To add the details of the hair, we're going to use a toothpick to scratch some details onto the surface. So there you have your little whiskers or mustache, whatever it is. Beavers have whiskers or mustache? I don't know, let me know. We'll start with the left side. So when you position it, make sure that the thinner side is twitching up like a mustache. So now we'll just keep moving our way up. So next is his nose. Brush a little bit on the back and then position it just above his whiskers. Okay, so next are his eyes. So just attach them like we've been attaching all the other pieces. Oh, he looks cute. So now we're just going to attach his white pupils and give him that kind of starry-eyed look. So we're going to attach the ears just a little off center from the eyes. So now that he's all assembled, we just wanna set him aside a little bit so he could dry and firm up a bit so it's easier to place on the cupcake. Now we're going to prep our cupcakes. We're going to use some white icing with a tip 1M to create a 1M swirl. Oh, look how cute he is. See, I told you you guys can do it. Now, if you wanna learn how to make the squirrel or the skunk, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave me comments down below too. And be sure to subscribe. My name is Monique, thanks for watching.